Today I'm going to show you how to create an abstract piece of artwork using the pixel sorting effect where the coloured pixels of an image are stretched to create a detailed visual effect. Authentic pixel sorting is a type of glitch art that is usually generated by computer code but we'll be replicating the appearance with Photoshop's built-in filters. If you search for pixel sorting artwork on sites such as Pinterest, you'll see some great examples of this art style where the effect is combined with photographs, usually with these extended pixels creating a melting or drooping appearance, or totally replacing a subject's entire face to create a surreal image. That's exactly what we'll be producing in this tutorial, an abstract art piece that features a hooded figure with long glitchy pixels that extend vertically from his face. I have a set of pixel sorting Photoshop actions available over on my Spoon Graphics website. Consider becoming an Access All Areas member to download this item, along with hundreds of other premium design resources, as well as additional tutorials and all the downloadable source files for each design. To create this pixel sorting artwork in Photoshop, we first need an image to work with. I'm using this picture of a hooded figure from unsplash.com, link to the download is in the description. This image is quite large, so first go to image and image size and scale it down to a 2000 pixel width. Drag the background onto the new layer icon to duplicate it. Go to image, image rotation and 90 degrees clockwise. Then go to filter, stylize and wind. In the settings choose stagger, then hit OK. To extend the pixels further, repeat the last filter, which is conveniently placed at the top of the filter menu. An even quicker method is to use the command and F shortcut. Repeatedly press it to stretch the pixels around 20 to 30 times. The original picture will soon become completely unrecognisable. Go to image, image rotation and 90 degrees counterclockwise to place the image the right way up. Turn off the visibility of the pixels layer for a moment. Select the pen tool and zoom into the face area. Begin tracing around the hood by clicking and dragging to produce curved lines. Don't pay too much attention to the lower part of the selection. Once the path is closed, right click and choose Make Selection. Click the Layer Mask icon in the Layers panel to apply the mask to the pixels layer. Bring back the visibility to see the stretched pixels are confined to this hood area we've just traced. To extend the area, use the rectangular marquee tool to draw a selection that matches the width of the hood. This rectangular selection overlaps the hood a little too much with its top right corner. We'll come back and fix that in a moment. Right click and choose Transform Selection, then zoom out and stretch the selection all the way off the bottom of the canvas. Zoom back into that top right corner, then hold the Alt key and draw a small selection to deselect that corner area. Use the Alt and Backspace shortcut to fill this area with white in the layer mask to reveal more of the stretched pixels. Go to Select and Deselect to remove the selection. We could leave the effect how it is naturally generated, but if you uncheck the link with its mask, you can transform with the Command and T shortcut and move the pixels around to find a better layout. Stretching the layer vertically can also help to elongate the pixels further. Zoom in and hold the Command key or Control key on Windows and click the mask of the pixels layer to load its selection. Add a new layer, then set up the brush tool with a soft tip. Paint around the top portion of the hood to add soft shading to the inside to help to blend the pixels in so it seems like they're flowing out of the hood. Add another new layer and switch the foreground colour to white. Dab a few spots here and there as highlights. Change this layer's blending mode to colour dodge and reduce the fill value to produce a vibrant glow effect. Load the selection again to add highlights only within the pixel area. Apply a gradient map adjustment layer as one of a couple of finishing touches. I'm using a preset from my free Geotone gradient presets you can download from Spoon Graphics, but the colour values are 071716 and 4E8387. Set this gradient map layer to soft light to boost the contrast of the image with a subtle colour cast. Reduce the opacity to around 50%. Add a hue and saturation adjustment layer to adjust the overall colour of the artwork. This piece looks pretty good with a blue colour scheme. It's also possible to create pixel sorting effects using a different image entirely. This allows you to choose a more detailed base image for more complex pixels in different colours. 
Rotate the image so the pixels are stretched in the right direction. Then repeatedly apply the wind filter. Copy and paste this new effect into the main document and place it above the original pixels layer. Use the command and T shortcut to stretch the pixels further and find the best layout. Hold the command key and click the pixel layers mask to load its selection. Then apply the mask to these new pixels instead. The final result is a surreal image with the popular pixel sorting effect. With some creativity you can use this effect to make all kinds of colourful artwork by stretching the pixels of an image. If you enjoyed this tutorial or learnt any new tips and tricks, a thumbs up on the video would be really appreciated. Stick around for more of my content by subscribing to the channel and be sure to join my mailing list at Spoon Graphics to download all my free design resources. As always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.